Hello everyone, this is Jin Chang. Hi, this is Xiang. And today we're going to talk about our final project, the equity composability of polygons. So basically, this means that given two polygons of the same area, we can cut one into very small pieces and fit those pieces perfectly into another one. To do that, we um, separate our tests into different parts. First, I'll talk about how to transform a triangle into a rectangle of the same size. And then, I'm going to talk about how to transform a rectangle into a square of the same size. And last, I'll talk about how to transform two different squares into each other. So first, let's consider triangle to a rectangle. So we call this our baseline algorithm. This is actually very simple. Given the triangle ABC, we simply take the midpoints of AB and AC, and let's call them D and F. And let's make a line out of DF. And then make two perpendicular lines perpendicular to BC. One starts from B and the other starts from C. And these three lines intersect at point G and H. And the rectangle GHCB is our rectangle, um, resulting rectangle. There is one special case though when our um, when the triangle is an obtuse triangle. We simply take our B as our starting point instead of A, and this is easily solved. And now I'll show you a small demo. Okay, now I'm going to talk about hinge dissection based on Dunning's algorithm. Dunning proposed that you can cut triangles with one point connected. How do you do that? Let's assume we have a triangle ABC. Its area, of course, is 10,000, and Therefore, we'll have a target square with the area with the same. And that will require the square has side 100. So how do we do that? First, we find point E and D, which is the midway point of AB and AC. We'll draw a circle that has ED as its diameter. Now, we'll also draw a circle with centered E with radius 50. We do that because we want to make sure that once we cut and spin it with, uh, with E hinged, will have a side of 100. So now you can see the, the two circle intersects at F. And once we draw EF and a DF, um, this is basically how you will cut it, which is shown on this chart. And now I'm going to show you a quick demo of triangle to triangle. So first, you will dot three points which is our source triangle, and three another points, which is the target triangle. Of course, the target triangle will be resized. And now you can see this is a quick demo. Kudos to Isaac who provided a quick demo. And for our own case, we're still debugging a couple of features. And please check out our GitHub for more details. OK, next I'll talk about how to transform a rectangle into a square. So um, let's consider our starting rectangle EBFG, and our resulting square is ABCD. To do that, let's first um, connect point A and point F, and call the intersection J and K. <coughs> and then we can move um, triangle JGF into triangle ADK. We can just slide it upward. And next, we will um, do the same thing with the triangle CKF. We slide it upward to fit into triangle AEJ. As a result, we successfully transform the rectangle EBFG into square ABCD. So now we have two squares of the same area. How do we transform one into another? To that, but to do that, we will use an algorithm called Sutherland Hodgman algorithm. Um, so this algorithm basically um, uses one polygon as our um, cutting frame, and we and we use this cutting frame to cut another uh, polygon. This is very easy to think about, but not so easy to implement. To implement that, we need to consider four different cases. So let's imagine that the blue square is our cutting frame. We'll use this blue square, the cutting frame, to cut another polygon. For simplicity, 
I will just show one side of the polygon where we want to cut, which is the line with two orange points as the vertices. So the first case is that this line is outside of our cutting frame. In this case, we simply ditch this edge. The second case is that the two vertices are outside of the cutting frame, but it intersects the cutting frame at the two orange uh, at the two red points. In this case, we keep the two red points and ditch the two orange points. In the third case, um, one uh, one vertex of the edge is inside of the cutting frame and the other is outside of it. In this case, we simply keep the red point and ditch the orange point outside of the cutting frame. The fourth case is that both um, vertices are inside of the cutting frame. In this case, we keep them both. Now, I'm going to talk about triangle to triangle transformation. This is very easy if you recall the baseline algorithm. So, first we have a, a source triangle. We'll cut up to a uh, rectangle and then to a square. And we took another triangle, which is our target triangle. And bear in mind that the target triangle has to have the same area. And we use baseline algorithm to transform that to a rectangle and then to a square using the pseudo algorithm that Jinchen just talked about. We can overlay two square and ta da, we have a cut. And that's it. Next, I'm going to talk about polygon to polygon. So, if you recall from Chris's lecture, He's talk, he talked about polygon triangulation using ear clipping. This is the same. We'll basically triangulate the polygon into different triangles and apply baseline algorithm to each of the triangles that we got. Keeping one side with the same lens, it will stuck up to be a rectangle. We'll do the same for our target polygon. And ta-da, it's as simple as that. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you.